there are a few really cool shortcuts that you can do with indices. Let's call them indice rules. Indice or index rules. Index is just the single of indices. Now, what is an indice? Or what is an index, I should say? An index is those num those little numbers that appear on the top. So you might have two squared, for example, or you might have seen uh, a letter, so x cubed. Those little numbers are index. They are indices, or one of them is an index. You might also have heard them as being powers or orders. So this is x of order 3, or x to the power of 3, or x cubed. They're all different words for indices. What are the shortcuts I'm talking about? Well, let's take, for example, 2 squared and imagine that we we multiply that by 2 um, to the power of, I don't know, 2 to the power of 5, let's say. Well, the long way of doing that would be to do, OK, well, 2 squared is 2 times 2, and then we're multiplying that by 2 to the 5, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and then let's do all that out. Well, there's a quicker way. If you notice, if you just look at the whole thing in one go, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven twos. So two to the power of two times by two to the power of five equals two to the power of seven. And there we go, we're done straight away. Two to the power of two times by two to the power of five, if you add the little powers, 2 and 5, you get 7. And the reason is, there's your 2 squared, there's your 2 to the power of 5, and if you just take away the brackets, it just looks like one long thing of 2 to the power of 7. So indeed, the first big shortcut is if you add the little numbers, the, the indices, you will get your answer straight away. Could you tell me then what 3 cubed times by 3 to the power of 4 is. Without even writing it out, I'm just going to add the little numbers and you get 3 to the power of 7. I've got a question. Can we do that if it's 4 squared times by 3 squared? Would that be 4 to the power of 4 or 12 to the power of 4? No. It doesn't work like that. You can't use the cheat um, of adding the powers when you have different numbers at the base. Because 4 squared is 4 times 4. Then you have a completely different number of 3 squared, which is 3 times 3. So there's no shortcut. You just have to work it out. 4 times 4 is 16. 3 times 3 is 9. And that will be 144. Now, in this case, though, when the number is the same, you do have the quick cheat shortcut. Let's do one last one of that. Let's say we had 10. Let's do a, a letter, actually. T squared times by T cubed. What is that? That is simply T to the power of, yeah, 5. You just add the little numbers. Any other tricks up my sleeve with indices? Well, there's the dividing trick. Now, the dividing trick is exactly the same, except instead of adding the little indices, we take them away. For example, what is 4 cubed uh, divided by... Oops, so daisy, what is the uh, divide symbol on here? Um, Let's just write divide. 4 cubed divided by uh, 4 to the power of 5. Now, the way to do that is we don't add the little indices anymore. We're dividing. So what do you reckon we're going to do? Can you guess what we're going to do to the little numbers? We're going to take them away. 
3 take away 5 is minus 2. Let me try and show you why that works. Imagine we had uh, 2 to the power of 4 it's become bold all of a sudden 2 to the power of 4 let's put that back to this one and then we had divided by 2 squared what that would look like if we wrote it out would be 2 times by 2 times by 2 times by 2 that's 2 to the power of 4 then with a line for divide and then 2 squared which is 2 times by 2 a lot of this would cancel out, that would cancel out with that that would cancel out with that and you're left with just 2 times by 2 which equals 2 times by 2 which is 2 squared let's write that you've got 2 squared now we can see that the shortcut to working all of that out would have just been to say well, the base is the same, 2, and we've got the little numbers, and it's a divide. So we're just going to say, take away the two little numbers, 4 take away 2 is 2. So yes, it's 2 squared. Okay, last one. We're going to mix it all together. We're going to do, how about, let's do a new number, let's do 5. Let's do 5 to the power of 5 times by 5 to the power of 7 divided by 5 to the power of 8. That seems very tricky, but we can handle it. What do we do when it's multiplied? What do we do to those little numbers? We don't times the little numbers, we add the little numbers. So 5 to the 5 times 5 to the 7 is 5 to the 12. Don't forget the 5 to the 8, though, down there. That line, as always, means divide. So it's like 5 to the 12 divided by 5 to the 8. And what do we do when it's divide? We take away the little numbers. 12 take away 8 is 4. So our final answer, without too much effort, is 5 to the power of 4.